In the previous lecture, we saw how and when to use computer properties. In this lecture, I want to show you how to use getters and setters with computer properties. Computer properties are getter only by default, but if you need to, you can also specify a getter. To do this, we actually need to change our computer property from a function to an object with two properties, get and set. These properties are functions that are invoked when we use the computer property to retrieve and update the value, respectively. Let's begin to restructure the property. So, like I said, this needs to be an object now. So I'll specify get, which is a function, and similarly set, which is also a function. Now the logic to retrieve the property's value is going to remain the same, so I can simply copy the code from the old function right here. And now I can delete this function and paste it in here, reformat it a bit, and that's it. As for the set function, I'll actually add a parameter named new value here. As the name of the parameter suggests, it will contain the new value whenever we assign a new value to the computer property. Since I will be assigning the full name as a whole, I need to do a bit of splitting to accomplish the same behavior as before. I will also add an alert for this function so we can see when it gets called. Then I will simply split the value by space and assign the first part to the first name data property and the last part to the last name property. So let's go ahead and do that. First, I'll just add an alert, just so we can see what we're doing. Setting new name, and I'll just output the new value here. Now I'll split the value by space. So I'll say parts equals new value that splits, and the space. And this dot first name equals parts at index zero. So I'll just take the first part. And for the last name, I'll say parts at an index that equals parts.length minus one. So the last index. And notice that within the set function and the get function as well, I refer to data properties by using the this keyword as we've seen before. So Within the set function, I simply update the data properties as I did within the other event listener. So far, so good. Let's now get to actually using these functions. The next thing I'll do is to add a new button, which will use the setter that we just implemented. So I'll go up here, I'll say button change name with the setter, and I'll Add an event listener for the click event. I'll just call it change name setter just to be explicit. And I also need to add an event listener for this button. So I'll add this within the methods object. So I call it change name setter and an empty function for now. So to use our setter function, all we need to do is to assign a new value to the computer property as if it were a normal data property. So I can just say this dot full name equals, and let's say Mark Gonzalez again. Vue.js will automatically detect this and invoke the setter function. Let's be honest, this is pretty awesome, isn't it? So that's it. We don't need to do anything to invoke the getter function. This is done automatically when we access the computer property. So now it's time to see our code in action. So I'll run it. And when I click the new button, we see an alert displaying the name that we are setting, proving that our setter function is indeed invoked. If I close this dialog, we will see a new alert, this time from the getter function. This alert shows up because we just changed the value of the computer property and therefore Vue.js will reactively update the DOM with this new value. And there you have it, that's how to use getters and setters with computer properties.